All right. Well, the day has come. My old town PDL 132 Sportsman has arrived. Man, look at that thing. That thing is packed up like you wouldn't believe. A little bummed they were supposed to call me. But whatever. Left it at the end of the road here. Let's get it unwrapped. Eco fishing stickers. Box with some goodies in it. Got a seat. All right, had to get a drill. So they've got this cross beam holding everything in. memory serves me right I thought I remember seeing guys keeping this hardware for something and here's the PDL man that thing is a beast Okay, we're gonna have to strap it down a little better yet. We're gonna have to get some uh, pads on here. I think I'm gonna get the roller. The roller goes on, nice rubber with bearings in it. Allows you so you're not dragging on that itself. So, looking good.
Take it over to my buddy Carl's house. We're gonna run some uh, wiring. For my electronics. All in all, man, it's, they had this thing wrapped up like uh, they are gonna drop it out of an airplane. So I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna have to adjust these uh, these cables it looks like, but whatever. Okay, we're getting there. I just got to get a connector for the power for my graph inside. And nobody carries them, but I think I got some at home. So I'll be back. Carl's going to let me leave it here. All right, I got everything mounted that I need to get on the water this weekend. See how everything feels. Um, I got a little, I'm got gonna add a foam to this, just in case. Um, see how that feels. Out on the water, just out of the way of the pedal. Got my Hummingbird Helix 7 mounted there. Like I said, it's uh, everything's wired in. Got it coming through there. Up under the hatch. Just got everything kind of looped up under there for now. Um, now I got to figure out my crate system. How I'm going to do that? Put put the uh, Navar bolt in here, rudder bolt. Tighten that up. Snugged up these cables just to get them. They were real sloppy when I got it. Um, yeah, I am ready, man. I'll show you what I did here. So I took a piece of this PVC pipe and I went over here because this has got like a, uh, I don't know what it is, almost like a nylon coating on it. That way, until I get the roller that goes into here, that will slide on, won't scratch up the kayak. So, yeah, loving this thing already, man. Haven't even sat in it yet. Eco fishing, man, they were great to work with. Got my kayak, uh, God, what was it, three weeks? A week sooner than the, uh, the date they gave me. Well, of the longest time that they gave me so yep this thing is bad man potentially going out walleye fishing Saturday morning depending on the wind so we'll see all right this is gonna be my temporary Take this to work in the morning. This is gonna be my temporary crate system here. It's one out of my old kayaks. I got this rod holder and a mount. I think it fits pretty snug in there. I'm gonna mount this on the back. Give me three rods for now. And all this is is should be able to fit some crates in here. Or I'm sorry. some Plano boxes, but all this is, I put a hinge on it, just a rigid box. So for now, it's gonna do. Later down the road, I might get something else, but for now, that'll do. That's it.